All right, so I have a crane lifting a thousand kilogram load slowly for two minutes, uh, lifting it up a total of 100 meters. Compute the average power output of the crane. So power is just how much work is done divided by how long did it take. And the units of power, the units of work are going to be joules. So it's units of work divided by the units of time. So it's going to be joules per second. And again, this gets a special name. It's called a watt. So don't confuse the capital W for watts with the capital W for work. And so I've got to figure out how much work this crane did. And I could talk about force times displacement directly. Or I could just say the amount of work it did is equal to the change in potential energy for this, for this load. Um, at this point, maybe it's best to keep talking directly about forces. So there's the force the crane is exerting. And um, gravity, of course, is pulling straight down. And I said in the problem that things are moving slowly. And that's key just because it means I don't have to worry about an imbalance in the forces causing an acceleration. So what I'm saying when I say slowly is that the upward force exerted by the cable is about the same as the downward force exerted by gravity. So it's a thousand kilograms. That was a weird G times 9.8 meters per second squared or 9,800 newtons. So the force exerted by the crane is going to be 9,800 because I'm moving slowly. Okay, then I can get the total work done by the crane and then divide by the amount of time it took to do that much work and that gives me the rate of work or the power. So the work done by the crane is just since the force is parallel to this displacement vector here, right? Displacement vector is just 100 meters, exactly the same direction as the force the crane is exerting. So I get 9,800 newtons. Displacement of 100 meters. So I get 980,000 joules of work, and then the amount of time it took. I'll just go ahead and put it in SI units right now. Two minutes is 120 seconds. And so I get my power, which is total work divided by the time it took. Power is going to be 8,166. I'll just round it. 8,170 watts. Or I could say 8.17 kilowatts if I wanted to play around with the units a little bit. 